Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to give you a quick tip for speeding up your learning of Blender. Okay, before I start, there is an affiliated link in the video. Uh, just to warn you, I know lots of people get annoyed about that, but I think it's well worth it and I'll go into just why in a second. So one thing I like to do when I wake up in the mornings is watch some sort of tutorial or do some sort of small chunk of learning. And that's quite nice to start the day. You feel like you've achieved something and you can kind of build it into a routine quite easily. This way, every single day you've learned something, you've built on your knowledge and you feel like you've achieved something and you do that right at the start of the day, it sets you up nicely. The problem is this becomes more difficult the more stuff you know. So the better you get at something, the harder it is to find a quick tip tutorial where you're actually learning something and you don't know it already. So I've been learning Blender for a long time now, so I do find that a bit tricky to find something new and interesting that I don't know about. So it's okay to just go over old stuff, maybe something you don't know too much about and just cover the basics once again. You can't get enough of learning new ways to do things as well. So that brings me on to today's resource that I want to talk about. It's something that I use quite often. It's called Blender Secrets. It's a really excellent resource. So they're on Instagram and YouTube and they've got an ebook. And obviously I'm going to talk about the ebook and say how great it is because there's an affiliated link in the video. But you can just go on the Instagram and YouTube and learn a lot from it. Honestly, when I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see a Blender Secrets post, I always watch it. It's usually about 30 seconds to a minute long and it gives great tips. Often they're things I know already, but I would say about 50% of the time, and I've been using Blender for a long time now, there's something new in there that I think, oh, that's a good way of doing it, and I'm quite surprised. So I learned something in a short space of time, 30 seconds or a minute, fantastic stuff. Jan, the creator of Blender Secrets, seems to know an awful lot about Blender. It's quite impressive, really. There's always something in there. There's always some little bit of knowledge that I think, ah, oh, I didn't know that. That's quite impressive. <laughs> So Yan, who creates Blender Secrets, has a YouTube and an Instagram, and they're well worth signing up to, so follow the links in the description for that. But there's also an ebook. And now I know, yep, there's an affiliated link in the description. You'll be supporting me if you click on that. And it is it is a promotion, but I think it's really fantastic, and I'll go into why. And I would say, whenever I've got an affiliate link, it's something that I would use or find useful. I don't promote things that I don't agree with. And I've let down a lot of things, believe me. There's lots of things I get sent stuff and I say, nope, it's not good enough. I'm not promoting it on my channel. So you can take a bit of confidence in that. So here's the ebook and I'll give you a quick example of how useful it is. So often I watch a YouTube video that's something really useful and I think, oh, I remember that. And then two months later I need it and I think, where is that video? Well, the great thing about this ebook is that you can find it nice and easily. So with the ebook open, I'm pressing Control F to find and I can, let's say, look up something about textures. So there we go, textures, it's got 100 hits, and you can see how to use NASA's free models and textures, a really nice resource. Let's uh, keep going down. Sculpting with textures and stencils. So it's really fantastic, this, and it's got a whole section on textures and UV unwrapping, make seamless textures easily in GIMP, how to use leaf textures. Each time there's something really handy. Let's try a different search. We'll go for Booleans this time, if I could spell it correctly. Okay, so the first thing that comes up, Boolean cutting and doing slice cuts like this, using booleans and it goes through the whole technique in detail really nice and easy to follow so you can get these sort of cuts for hard surface modeling let's try the next one and a few down we can see there's a whole section on the boolean workflow giving you lots of tips and practical examples and of course you could always go across to the blender manual but i find that really complicated and awkward and it hasn't got practical examples i don't mean to be rude about it but it's just really hard to learn stuff from the blender documentation whereas this has practical examples and mini tutorials, which is a much nicer approach in my opinion. So that's the ebook. I think it is well worth it at $35. I know if you're a cheapskate like me, so that's a British term for people who don't like to spend money, I think that's probably a term that everybody relates to, but I really do believe in investing in yourself. So if you're buying a tutorial, I think that's well worth it. And I always had a problem with buying tutorials when there's free resources online, but you can get there a lot quicker if you buy the resources. And I'm not doing a hard sell or anything. I just think that's something that I had to kind of get over. Uh, spending money on tutorial videos, I think that's okay. And it's a good thing to do and well worthwhile. Of course, for those that aren't able, there is the Instagram and YouTube, well worth it. I subscribe and I do watch those videos all the time. I think they are fantastic. Lastly, a big thank you to Jan, the creator of Blender Secrets for sending me that ebook. I really appreciate it and I will use it a lot. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.